your standard loop. I'm going to push the eye through so that loop feeds right through the eye of that hook. I'm going to do an overhand, pull that loop through as you can see. Then I'm just going to open up this, bring my hook through, and this is your standard Palomar knot. Now the most important part, you want to wet that line so as you bring it down, cinch it down, you don't burn that line. Because if you burn that line, your knot's going to be weak. So I'm just going to come right to the bend of the hook. That's right where I'm going to bring my hook through, feed it down, and now notice that this hook naturally lays flat. This is also the place where you're going to bring that hook back through. So I make my mark right there because I want it straight. There it is. That's the mark and where I'm going to bring that hook through. Skin hook it and you notice that that lays perfectly flat. I skin hook it so that it'll go through the weeds a little better and now I'm set and I'm ready to fish again. Fish on! Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, she's a pig. What a pig. There we go. You little green, Greg. Yep. Grab a hold of that girl. Yep. Boom. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful hog football. What a beauty. Kind of cleaned her nostrils out a little. Yeah, that is an awesome fish. We'll just take and pop that back out. Take a look at that. She just absolutely inhaled. Let me show you this bait we're using. This is your Yamamoto Senko. She just absolutely inhaled it. Drifts right down to her. Boom! Grabs it. You're talking, what do you think, Greg? Four and a half? Five? At, at least. At least. That's yeah. just a healthy, healthy fish right there. Yep. Having a great time. Yep. There you go. We'll put her back and let her swim away. You bet. And uh, we're on to another fish. Dude, dude, nice. that was great. His way that guide service, great. baby, on <laughs> Quail Creek. <laughs> that was hot. That's just why you come down. You know, it's springtime. We've had high winds. The fishing's incredible. I haven't fished this lake for a long time. Greg's been telling me, you got to come down here and fish it. The fish are big. So sit back, relax. Going after another one. Got it. You know, you've heard me say it before, and I'll say it again. If you want to catch big bass, you got to throw big baits. And this is one example of a medium-sized bait that these big bass will inhale. Eight-inch Huddleston swim bait in rainbow trout pattern. This is your standard eight-inch Huddleston swim bait. You can see the size difference, but you know these great big bass, they want to inhale a big meal. I mean, when we go to, uh, you know, you go to McDonald's, you don't get the kiddies meal. You double down with a couple of great big Big Macs, large fry, large Coke. Well, this is what you're serving them up. The way that I'm fishing in most of the Huddleston swim baits is I'm positioning myself on the shore, casting out the deep water, letting it hit the bottom, and basically slow rolling it back or fishing it like a jig. And that's how I catch most of my fish up here out of Quail Creek. So you're fishing uphill? Yep, most of them. Mm -hmm. That's Tell the way they were last How's the last bite? Week. How do they usually take it? Do they crush they, it and they, it? They take it like a jig. It's like a bluegill bite. Just a real subtle hit. You just wind and boom, get them. Most of them are totally inhaled all the way to the head. If you want to catch big bass, you try a Huddleston swim bait, cast it out, just like you heard Dennis say, throw from the shore out to deep water, let it go to the bottom, nice, slow, steady retrieve. You don't need to work it. They'll come up behind. You'll feel that thump. You could buy uh, eight inch Huddleston swim baits at, at Sportsman's too. That's what we got them on. Lean back, set the hook, and uh, you can send a picture to Huddleston of your next monster bass on one of their baits. Yeah, don't ever be intimidated by the size because three pounders will totally swallow that eight inch like it's nothing. I'm hooked on Utah. I think this is where you were throwing on those fish. Yes, it is. Was right over here. And there might be some off to the left so here too. So if we come into the left, there's three big ones into the left that we saw this morning. Okay. Big fish cruising around in here and just pitched a Senko up to it. We're moving up into these coves and just trying to identify the fish that are swimming around in here. They might be moving up to make a bed or look. Um, and all we're trying to do is identify those active cruising fish and go after them. Oh yeah. This almost feels naughty. <laughs> 